Hello, Carolina Girl Hoop Report followers. We are here in Sewanee, Georgia, on the second day of the Brandon Clay Scouting Summer Showcase. Um, I have with us class of 2025 guard, Skylar Tuthill from South Carolina. Skylar, thank you. Thank you for having me. Always, always a pleasure, always a pleasure. Talk to me about coming here this weekend. It's your first time at a Brandon Clay event? Yes. What were your expectations? Um, you know, I didn't have really any expectations going in. I kind of just wanted, I prepared this whole week, uh, worked out twice a day, you know, getting dribbling in, getting shooting in, you know, had no clue what this was going to be about. So I wanted to come in with a strong mindset, stay focused, and just do my thing. Absolutely. You've been playing tremendously so far, obviously, not just shooting the ball. Um, I, I posted a video this morning of you really working the boards, you know what I'm saying? You know, you have found yourself on the court as a person that can just go anywhere and operate from the short corner, from the wing, you know, handling the point guard role. This year in high school at Catawba Ridge, you showed me that you can just be ambidextrous, bring the ball up, get to the wing, catch, attack. What did this year, you know, after winning a state championship, you know, as, a, as an eighth grader, now coming into your ninth grade year, talk to me about your mindset and what you think you got out of your freshman year at Catawba Ridge. I knew it was going to be a lot on me coming to a new school, you know, new people, new team. So kind of just adapting new coach as well. So it was a lot on me, but it definitely pushed me as a player to grow all aspects of my game. Um, my dribble, you know, becoming a point guard, having to distribute the ball, distribute to my teammates. So it was a great experience for me overall. I think it definitely helped develop my guard skills for sure. One of the matchups, I guess, maybe of the, of the whole state playoffs, in, in my um, uh, opinion, was you and Terriana Gray from AC Floor. I was there for that game at Catawba Ridge. Uh, Terriana went with like 35, you had about 25, 27. You guys got the win and moved on to the upper state championship. But what do you feel when you know you're gonna go against a player like that? Do you know their skill, their athletic? What do you, you know what I'm saying, how do you prepare for something like that before you go out there on the court? So we knew we were going to be playing AC Flora. We knew it was going to be a tough game. They're big, they're like, they play hard. So we came out just, you know, playing, trying to match their energy. Um, I would say we definitely passed the ball really well. We ran the floor really well, mm -hmm. looked ahead in transition. We were able to hit big shots at the right time. And then, you know, up the stretch, we hit key free throws. And I think that's what won us the game. Un unbelievable game. You guys almost ran away with it going into the fourth quarter and then Terriana goes for like 18 points in the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah. It was just an unbelievable game. The matchup, you know, the talent on the floor, but that's what, you know, it, th th that's what you look for. Right. You, you, you've been in those games before. You've won, you know, three on three, you know, national championships and all the rest of that. I mean, you, you've been a part of some big time stuff. I'm happy to see your growth and where you're heading towards because I know there's a lot more ceiling for you to reach. So keep it up, you know, great work. And thank you for joining us, Scott. Thank you for having me again.